what's going on guys uh, I said I'd make a, a video this week uh, about the mods or the things that I've done to the bikes I've had I'm gonna try to make this as fast as I can not draw it out um, this is a 2016 SSR 125 I've had it over a year um, absolutely love this bike so let's get started uh, I've said this a couple times I've, I've got the pro taper diamond grips uh, they feel great in the hand. Um, I might get some new ones here soon, like an all red maybe. Uh, I've got breakaway folding levers. These things are awesome. Uh, they're like an anodized red. They're not really like a bright red. They're uh, like a, I don't know, like a pinkish red maybe? I don't know. They look alright. Funny story about those are uh, a couple weeks ago I was over at my nephew's house, Jonah Noah's house. We were riding. Uh, it was night. We, they put their bikes in the garage, I put mine in the driveway before I loaded up. Put the kickstand down, turn around, I hear a big, big thump. My bike had just fallen on its side, hit the concrete as hard as it could. And it made my lever look like a candy cane. It didn't break it, which it did its job. But it must have hit so hard. I mean, if this thing looked like a freaking hook. So I kind of straightened it out a little bit. It's, you can still see where it's bent. And it also bent my stock bars. I uh, had like this up and out this way or something like that. I don't know. So I was like, well, I'll just put some new bars on there. So I put these gold bars on last week. And first day I actually rode it was with Jonah and Noah. In the videos, you'll see the last two that I uploaded. So funny story about that is Jonah went down and broke his uh, clutch lever, his stock clutch lever. So... Noah was going to run to the house real quick and get his breakaway levers for Jonah that, that he hasn't put on his bike yet. So he is like, he has to take my bike because it was like 8.15, you know, just in case it got dark because my bike's got a light on it and uh, the trails are crazy. So um, I was like, yeah, go ahead. So he comes back and he's like, how's your bike look? I was like, looks all right. Wow. I said, you wreck? And he said, yeah, he, he hit what he thought was going to be mud. It turned out to be this huge rock covered in mud. Hit it, I guess it threw him off, it, and it it bent my new bars, and uh, I wasn't mad at all, but he was so upset, but I was like, man, it's, a, it's just an accident, things like that happened, but I think I pretty much straightened them out, took a straight bar and straightened them out, I mean, they wasn't bent crazy bad, uh, so <laughs> I got the gold bars on there, um, these, photo weight, these folding levers, I suggest these to everyone, all three of my nephews have broke at least one or two of their stock levers from hitting the ground. So, this is a must right here. All right, so do the go bars, the grips, the photo wear levers, breakable levers, whatever. Um, go metal fuel cap. I did the go fuel filter. Um, I put a 17 tooth front sprocket and a 104 link heavy duty chain. Uh, the, the sprocket makes it, uh, makes the gears a little bit longer. First gear is actually usable now. Uh, gives you more top speed. Um, I've kept everything else stock. I've kept, I've kept this and the skid plate stock, you know, because black goes with everything. It's already fold, so it's pretty nice. Um, my tires, these are the tires that came on it. Um, it's the 2016. My, all three of my nephews, they have 2016s also, but I guess they got like a later in the year 2016. And theirs came with knobbies, like big knobby tires. So I think I'm going to put those on soon because uh, it just looks better and, it, you know, better traction, I guess. Uh, I made this little, uh, like a mud flap, like a fender extender. Uh, I think it looks pretty sweet on the bike. Uh, and it does a pretty cool job. Pretty good job about, like, not throwing more mud on your back than it does without it. Uh, it only costs me, like, a dollar to make. If you need a video of how to make one, uh, leave a comment. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to need to know how to make it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I put, um heat wrap on the exhaust it needs to be redone first time i did it i didn't really do it as great as i could um but it's got a rip in it i I've just kind of patched it up i don't feel like taking it off and doing it right now but i will uh, but it does save your legs from getting burned and it keeps the pipe a lot cooler um let's see everything else is stock on there oh let's see i have put a my own led light kit on there i think i Piece, pieces together it costs like $25 um, I've got a video showing you how to do that it runs off the motor so you don't have to worry about batteries it's got a switch on and off it only works when the bikes actually started 
I'll put the link in the description of uh, how to do that. Uh, I've changed the plastics like two or three times. I've got the stock plastics, I've got all white plastics, and I've got this. Um, it did have a red tail on here, but I changed it out uh, to an all white. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think the only other thing I've done to this bike, I put a uh, three quarter PVC uh, pipe. I cut like one inch spacers for each one, put it here in the forks, uh, made the front end a lot stiffer. Made it really, a really good ride now. It only costs like 89 cents to do that. It's a freaking job, but especially if you're by yourself, but it makes a world of a difference. Um, that's about it. I think the, the only future mods that I might do, I might make a little front. Uh, extender a little bit um, an oil cooler might put a gold oil cooler right here uh, if you ride these bikes like on the trails like you you're, you're mainly first and second gear most of the time and if it's hot outside it makes your engine really hot so it's a it's a good thing to have an engine cooler or oil cooler sorry uh, I might put a 24 millimeter Makuni carb with a red foam filter uh, but I'm not really having any problems out of my carb now so Probably wait on that. And the only other thing I might do, I might put a heavy duty gold chain and then I might put a uh, working tail and brake light so when you hit the, the rear brake right there, it lights up or whatever. And that's about it. Um, like I said, I had this bike for over a year, no problems. Um, that's about it. So, hope you enjoy. Oh, there's two other things. I got these wheel spokes. Um, I'm deciding if I want to continue with them. They're freaking a booger to put on. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue. I got the whole pack in there to do. It's just a, it's a job cutting them things and trying to put them on there. They're freaking tight. So we'll see. And then I ordered some red um, hand guards. You know, the big plastic ones that go right here. Protect your hands while you're riding the trails. Uh, the company, I don't know what happened. Uh, it, they never shipped. Uh, I told the company they refunded my money, so I'm just going to buy them from somewhere else. So That's about it. Hope you all enjoy. Uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, y'all take care. Thanks.